here we're measuring at the random variable x, which uh, has n equals four trial trials, um, each with independent independent probability of success p equals 0 0.75. First question we have: it, Well, we're not really sure what exactly we're counting, but we're counting um, the number of possible successes in four trials. Okay. Well, in order for this to be a binomial experiment, uh, we need to verify that there are n trials. So there are actually n equals four trials. That's a fixed number, and um, that satisfies the constraint that we have a fixed number of trials. Two, um, each outcome is either a failure or success. Well, we succeed with probability 0.75, so that means we fail with probability 0.25. So um, success and failure are the two possible outcomes. There's nothing else aside from that. At least there's no evidence of it. We know there's a probability of success, so that means all the other probabilities must be failures. Um, we know the trials are independent because we're told that. So we do have independent trials. And the probability of a success in any one trial is fixed at 0 0.75. Now these two go hand in hand because if you don't have independent trials, then um, your probability is also not going to be the same, potentially. What is the probability that x equals 0? Um, well, we're going to set up a table here to make this a little bit easier to answer questions B, um, B, C, D, E, and F. And we're going to think about this as a probability distribution because that's essentially what we're finding. So um, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now to figure out how many ways there are to get 0 successes, we'll do 4 combination 0. The probability of success, which is 0.75 raised to the number of successes, which in this case is 0, because uh, we're going to have 0 successes, and 4 failures. Well, this one's going to be 4 choose 1 success. So that means we'll have 75 to the first power and 0 0.25 to the uh, third power. So we have 1 success, 3 failures. And then similar pattern, 4 to 0.75 squared. 0.25 squared, and finally for, uh, oops, two more to go, excuse me, we'll have four combination three, 0.75, th uh, three successes, and one failure. And then finally for uh, four, well that's four, four successes, 0.75 to the fourth power, zero failures, and so this is what it would look like. So if we plug this into our calculator, well, we get, um, we have to do 4, come over to math, select combinations. For the first one, we do 4, 0. And uh, we do 0 0.75 to the 0 power times 0.25 to the 4th power. And really, anything to the 0 power is 1, but we'll just go ahead and put it in the Put, put it in there anyway for completion. So this is the probability that we get, 0 0.004. So I'm going to put that off to the side here, 0 0.004 probability that we get zero successes. And that should make sense because the probability of success is pretty high. In the name of efficiency, um, I'll go ahead and show the results because these are just basically four calculation steps. Here's what they would look like once we actually carry these out. So probability of zero successes, 0 0.004. Um, or 0.4 percent, and then they get higher as we go. So here's kind of the probability distribution, and it looks like it peaks out that the highest probability is that we'll get exactly three successes in four trials. Well, wait a minute, three out of four, that, sh that seems to make sense. Um, expected value in this case would be the number of trials times the probability of success. Alternatively, this times this plus this times this plus this times this by the definition of expected value, but we should get the same thing if we just do 4 times 0.75. So it, we would expect that out of four trials, three quarters of the time, or three times, we'd get successes. That that would be the most, that that would be the ex expectation. And the question is, does it coincide with the resulting x that has the highest probability? And it does, because the x that has the highest probability is 3. and um, that is also our expected value. Now, sometimes uh, it doesn't work out so nicely, but it should be.